Today we're headed east from Phoenix on Route 60 to do a little off-roading in the Superstition Mountains. Where we'll be visiting a historic cemetery. And we came across a couple of unexpected challenging trail sections where I got to be a spotter and coach to help out our new Jeepers enjoy their first day on the trail. So we turned off US 60 and headed for the staging area. Just turned off the road. We're heading to the staging area where we're gonna see some wagon tracks. That is... Just missed our turn. <laughs> there we go. Now we're on the road. There we go. Got that. Got that awesome. So where are we again? It's Picket Post Mountain. We are heading to see some wagon tracks that have been carved in the stone by the old wagons hauling silver from the silver mine. Oh, cool. Awesome. Okay, we are here in front of. Picket Post Mountain, taking the parents out on their very first off-road adventure in their brand new Jeep. Got the Jeep Willys here. This is the before picture. <laughs> you can see, still even got the blue letters on the tire. This baby is brand new. We're gonna see if we can wear some of that off of there today. And make it look a little more like this mess of a Jeep that we've brought. Can't even tell if there are letters on those tires anymore. <laughs> All right, so for now, I'm going to head off and see if I can find some wagon tracks. All right. We will pick it up from there. Very okay. good. I found the wagon tracks just a little farther up the road. So we loaded up and drove to a better parking area where we unloaded to have a look. According to the Tom Collinborn Chronicles, the tracks were the results of the ore wagons hauling silver ore from the Silver King Mine to the Pinal Mill on Queen Creek, just west of this location during the late 1870s and early 1880s. The ore wagon road crossed a large deposit of welded volcanic tuff. This type of rock was not too resistant to the metal rims of the old ore wagons carrying heavy loads of silver ore. The wagon wheels etched two deep ruts across this large deposit of welded volcanic tuff. Each member of a mule team stepped in the same location as the mule ahead, thus the mule tracks are also visible today. As we headed out from the wagon tracks, the road got a little more exciting than what I had intended. I think we're all set now. We got our first of all. No big deal here. This will be your dad's first off-roading adventure though. Yep. He's back there. Let's see. Well, you can see him back there. Yep. But I can't switch the camera back and forth. We're gonna do great. I hope so. I think I may. I've already taken them on a harder road than I intended. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Way to go. Oh, well. This is only his first time on a gravel road ever on yeah. a Jeep, and that's fine. He's surviving. Yeah. I go a few thrills. You can't really see the ruts and holes on the camera, but crossing these washes added some excitement with a few parts feeling a little tippy. Of course, this was the one section of today's route that I hadn't scouted in advance. But Dad did a great job keeping up by just following behind us on the same line. I think he might have even gotten a little sideways.
This little climb out of a wash was actually about 20 feet tall and proved to be more intimidating later coming the downhill direction. All right, here we go. Oh, this is a good one. Your dad will definitely like this. Yeah, I think our, ooh, oh, 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 yeah, I don't like, I don't like the Arizona pinstripes on the Jeep, but oh well. I think it was an epic fail not to have the video camera in your dad's Jeep to see your mom's face because that's really what we need right now. Uh-oh, gonna go see how they're doing. Do we need to get out and go check on them? Oh, we did fine. All right, excellent. All right, we're winning so far. What did your mom say when you went back there? Yeah, I went back there to talk to them about some tips for off-road driving. And my mom's question was, we're going down in that hole? <laughs> and that, that was the first one that wasn't even bad. Yeah, yes, we are, Mom. And then she went up a harder one. Yep. Yeah. Which I told her was easier, but apparently it wasn't. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Where are we headed now? We are headed to the Perlite Caves and Mine, mm. where hopefully we will find some uh, obsidian rocks that we can maybe get a little souvenir there. Oh, cool. The road to the caves looked a little tricky, so I decided to walk it first. We're having to uh, walk out there and see we can actually take all of this down this road. We'll find out. That's more, uh... You go down, there's a water crossing that's pretty steep. Oh. And there are two trees like this. Cool. That are maybe not quite tall enough to get a Jeep through. Oh, no. Darn it. So we headed back the way we came, which led us back to the wash we had just crossed. Tire placement was a little more important going down the hill because some of the ruts could cause uncomfortable roll angles. So I ran back after I had finished the crossing to give Dad a little advice on the line. It seemed like the best approach required a hard right turn just after entering the wash and it was pretty straightforward the rest of the way down. This was definitely the most visually intimidating obstacle of the day. So what was that, 18 degrees? 18 degree down angle. We only got to about 15 or so on the side angle. Uh-huh, and, and what did your mom have to say about she, that? <laughs> she was not pleased. <laughs> I think she's having a good time then. In between the terror, she's having a good time. <laughs> okay. Another little hill, this one's easier. He can do this one by himself? I he, think he, so. Yeah, we we did this coming the other way. It's fine. Now we're just gonna take the parents down some gravel roads. Yep, easy yeah. gravel roads. No, no problem. Yeah, first time out. Oh for God. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to resign myself to Arizona pinstripes and get over it. It's gonna happen. With the most difficult trails behind us, we crossed US 60 heading north on the way to the historic Pinal Cemetery. The roads here were a lot smoother and this seemed to be a popular area for camping. Nall Cemetery was established in 1878 and served the boom town that popped up as a result of the Silver King Mine. 
The most noteworthy grave is that of Wyatt Earp's common law wife, Maddie, who died by opium poisoning in 1888. It only took about 15 years until the town was deserted and is now considered a ghost town. All right, babe, we just saw the grave site. Where are we off to now? We are off to Montana Mountain. Okay. Unfortunately, the Canal Cemetery was a greater success than the Perlite Cave. <laughs> That's good. The roads there were a little more along the lines of what I was hoping to take the parents down for their first try. Uh, and obviously, the scenery was stunning. So now back on US 60 for a couple minutes uh, down to the staging area to air down the tires. All right, here we go. All right, we're airing down the tires so that our ride's a little bit smoother. If your tires aren't so full, they aren't quite as bouncy. After airing down, we headed out on Hewitt Canyon Road. I had already scouted this section of the trail, so I knew it would be a fun and scenic ride for everybody. Traveling north, the windshield is filled with rugged rock formations and interesting scenery for at least the first 10 miles of this trail. We had brought along our camp stove setup so that we could enjoy some great burgers today instead of cold sandwiches and I had already scouted out a nice place to stop and have lunch where we would have a view of a unique rock formation which has a hole running completely through its center section. We pulled off the road and set up for lunch. After mom and dad got parked, we took a quick walk to a better vantage point to view the formation. Terry was nice enough to cook us some excellent burgers while I went to take some pictures. We enjoyed the view while we ate and then headed out for a little more exploring. We were on our way to look for a stone arch that we missed the last time we were out here. All right, babe, I say you get an A plus on this road. Thank you. <laughs> I, I have been on this one before, so uh, I guess that's kind of cheating. Cheater. Nope, it's perfect. I do like to uh, run reconnaissance before I take the parents off. Well, you have stunning views, tons of beautiful saguaro, enough of a road to be interesting without being scary. Yeah, we got all the scary stuff knocked out at the beginning. <laughs> The road through the canyon continues to be entertaining, and it wasn't too much longer until we saw the arch that we were looking for. We found a safe spot to park nearby, and I set out to get some pictures.
comes our resident photographer, having photographed the elephant's arch. No, elephant's ear? What's he called? Um, we just said an elephant head, the trunk. I don't know, everybody kind of sees the elephant, but me, honestly. I think I see the trunk. I'm not 100% sure. I'll know more when I see Mike's picture. Hey, did you get him to smile for you? Yep. Good pictures? Sure hope so. Hope so too. Not all the way up to the elephant. I took some pictures of the jeeps through his arch. Should be cool. The last stop of the day was going to be a crested saguaro a few more miles down the road. So we pressed on, and even though we were getting a little worn out, spirits remained high. Dad was following at a pretty good distance since he learned that Things get a little dusty if you're not in the lead. Found it. There it is. We learned at the Desert Botanical Gardens that the crested saguaros are pretty rare at about 1 in 200,000. So it's always a treat to discover one while out exploring. God, are we really going to do this with the parents? That? Yeah. Oh, no, it's that. Oh, okay. I told him he had two choices. He no, I just thought maybe. Yeah. Or he could just go up that hill and go around. Them. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, I think that would have been cool. Be fine. Oh yeah, we can make it. Go up and I'm well. It's all right. We turned around just up the hill from the saguaro and headed back the way we came. This is a really fun and easy road. We were moving along a little more quickly in this direction and I think mom and dad were getting more comfortable being off pavement. With one more quick stop for some pictures, we were making good time on our way back to the staging area. Alright, coming in for a landing. We have arrived in a cloud of dust. <laughs> good job! Now we'll see if the parents show up. We hope so. I hope so. Let's go see. Wait, let's zoom in. There we go. Yay, they made it. Dun, 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 dun. First jeeping adventure. I'd say they did great. Mike did help uh, make that, so. Look, that's actual first dirt. Desert dirt. Yeah. You survived. Virgin trip. <laughs> it went great. Yes, without uh, any. Uh, no rolling off the cliffs? No mis mishaps. No? A couple of uh, times Joan goes, oh my God. <laughs> no, but other than that, it was uh, pretty smooth. The blue is gone from the tire now. It's official. I don't know. There's a touch of it here. Look. Oh, you're gonna have here. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, if 
there's still clean spots, then there's more adventure to be had. What say you? Yeah. I'm supposed to What's interview you. I'm supposed to interview you about your day. Were you terrorized? It was a wonderful day. Was it good? Oh, gosh, yeah. Right. Didn't, didn't scare you too much? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, what, I'm supposed to ask you, what was your favorite?